07 commanders my name is blitz and i will be teaching you in this video how to build your afk type 10 how to outfit it modify it engineer it to ensure maximum survivability and low risk area all links and infos will be put in the description below so let's get started as this is an afk build we will be using turreted weapons all over make sure you have only two beam lasers at the most so that your power distributor doesn't start screaming for help the rest of the hard points are gonna be pulse lasers. For engineering, make sure you choose long range engineering at the highest grace you can afford to make sure you have the longest range possible. For experimentals, you can choose whatever you like. For me, I chose thermal vent on the beam lasers and random experimentals or the pulse lasers since I like the light show. If you don't have engineering unlocked yet, you can still work this with all pulse lasers and only one beam laser so that your power distributor does not deplete quickly. Next up is gonna be our utility slot. We're gonna have 5 shield boosters and 3 point defenses. The shield boosters will be engineered for heavy duty super caps. The point defenses, well, they cannot be engineered for a very efficient way, but if you have your hands on the nice community goal point defenses that are engineered for long range, then you are good. Next up we have the core internal. We start with an 8A power plant with engineering to the overcharged and the maximum grade possible. After that we will go to the 7A thrusters with dirty drag tuning and drive drives. Next up you have the frame shift drive, a 7A would do you good, you can engineer to increase range so you can travel along the bubble with your type 10 without the needing of a fleet carrier if you don't have a fleet carrier. After that the most important part is the power distributor, I have mine weapon focused but you can put a charge enhance in it there. Next, you have the sensors. Make sure you have a 4A sensors if you have long range engineering so that you will be able to see the enemies you're shooting at. Next up is an optional internal. We start with an 8A shield generator, prismatic preferably engineered to thermal resistant and fast charge. Next, you're gonna have a 7B cell bank to get past the first wave of attackers and engineered specialized and boss cells if you have access to it. And of course, the fighter hanger goes without saying. Make sure you have the Gillet F Titan with fixed beam and heat sinks so that even chaffers can go away. In the other slots, you can stack up shield reinforcement as long as your power plant can handle it or if you don't have access to them, you can still make do with hull reinforcement to ensure maximum survivability. And you can put a cargo rack for bait cargo so you can attract those pirates. Optionally, you can have an auto dock computer or a super cruise assist, whatever you want. That is all for outfitting, now don't forget to activate your multi crew member and remember, the better combat rank he is, the more damage he will do and the more longer he will survive. Alright commanders, now we are done outfitting, we got our NPC crew ready and activated, we got our stacks ready and our bait cargo in the hold, all that is left to do is depart and head for a low res area. Now be advised, when you head to the low res area, you might be interdicted by an incoming enemy alert, which you might be able to survive depending on your skills, or when you land in the low res area, you will be facing a first wave of attackers that might be a little bit above your head, which is why you have to use the cell bank. Now we're landing at the low res area. Make sure as soon as you land, you deploy your hard points and you set your turret to auto fire and you set your fighter to auto engage and maybe babysit the uh, type 10 for a couple of minutes until all the first wave is gone after that you can just sit back relax and watch the light show a small tip for you commanders is when you land at a low res site you position yourself at least three kilometers above the marker and make sure you are away from the asteroid so that your point defense have space enough to take out the incoming hatchbreaker limits. I forgot to mention this in the outfitting but make sure that your point defenses are at the lower side of the ship near the cargo hatch, otherwise it won't make sense. Now we can see that I am getting greeted by a welcoming committee consisting of a deadly anaconda but no fear, my fighter pilot is competent enough to take it to town and take it out. And this is where you need to babysit your type 10 in case you get damaged a little bit and you fire a cell bank to prevent loss of the shield. Another hot tip for you commander is instead of picking 20 massacre missions you can pick up 19 missions and you can add one cargo mission that requires you to transport cargo to another system 
That way, you will ensure that your cargo won't be hatch broken no matter what, and you can lose the point defenses and use instead shield boosters to get the maximum amount of shields for your type 10. But make sure that the mission is active and you have put all the cargo you can carry and you can leave the rest. And the fine is not gonna be that big of a deal since you're gonna be raking in billions of dollars. With this method commanders your type 10 will definitely pay for its cost and then some if you are doing solo missions or a little bit more a few runs if you're doing it with a couple of wing members. One more thing to add commanders is that the type 10 is not the AFK farming ship of the game. You can also use a cutter instead if you have it and it will come at a great cost but the only advantage we get is that it will have twice as much shields as the type 10. It will also be able to survive longer in the low res area and probably in the medium res area. But fear not commanders, I will be linking a build in the description below for those who are elite enough to handle it. That's it commanders, I hope you enjoy this brief guide on how to make space box while you're away at work or sleeping. If you like the video please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel it will help me a lot and motivate me to create more content you can also consider joining our discord server to ask any questions to our community members or you can leave a comment in the comment section below and i will do my best to answer all the questions thank you commander for watching and see you in the black